Hello everybody! If you want to achieve fresh, glowy skin with a natural flush, this video is for you. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to achieve this beautiful strawberry makeup look that is perfect for summer or a beach day. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Starting off with the base, I'll be using e.l.f. Cosmetics Poreless Party Primer and applying it all over my face, focusing on my T-zone. This primer helps to blur my pores and make my makeup last longer. To achieve the strawberry inspired look, having clean skin is crucial as it provides the perfect base and I'll be using the Shuomera Unlimited Breathable Lasting Fluid Foundation. The shade I bought is too light for me, so I'm mixing it with the darker concealer to match my skin tone. This foundation has a lightweight formula with a semi-matte finish, allowing your skin to breathe. It's my go-to foundation for long days and I'm using a sponge so that it gives me that light and natural coverage. One thing to note about this foundation is that it dries quickly on the skin. So, I apply it to one section of my face at a time before moving on to the next. The key to this strawberry makeup look is the flushed cheeks and I'm using the Rare Beauties blush in the shade Joy on my cheeks and nose for a natural flushed look. Since the blush is highly pigmented, I'll start with a few dots and add more if needed and I'm using a sponge to blend it for a more natural look. After applying the liquid blush, I will layer it with a powder blush with a similar shade from Tarte in the shade Ornate. This helps set the blush and ensure it lasts longer throughout the day. Afterwards, I'll apply a light bronzer, a shade or two shades darker than my skin tone, to my cheekbones, jawline, nose and the forehead to achieve a sun-kissed effect. Since the blush is the main focus, I'll keep my eyes simple with neutral colours so they don't compete with the blush. I'll use the eyeshadow palette from Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes, applying the shade peaches and cream all over my eyelids and my lower lash line. Next, I'll use a brown eyeliner from Floret to create a wing liner, giving my eyes a softer and more awake look. I'll then use the darkest shade from the bronzer and apply it on top of my eyeliner to make it last longer. Next, I'll use a lash curler from So Kill to curl my lashes. Following that, I'll apply the Can Make Quick Lash Curler Mascara in soft brown to keep them lifted all day, creating a natural appearance. Not to forget my brows, I'll be using my go-to brow pencil from Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil to fill in those missing hair, giving a fuller and more defined appearance.
to achieve a glazed look, I'll apply MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Highlighter in Soft and Gentle. This highlighter gives a soft and radiant finish, and I'm applying it to the key areas like my nose bridge, the tip of my nose, and my cheekbones. What's good about this is how it enhances a natural glow, giving your skin a radiant appearance without appearing overly highlighted. To complete the look, I'll apply a lip tint from Peripera in the shade number 02, followed by layering with Fenty Gloss Balm and Fenty Glow. This combo creates that strawberry glazed lips bring the whole look together. That's the end of today's makeup. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you've tried this look and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!